Good morning from Ahmed Bali. It's currently 4 a.m. here. Seems like we've been getting up at 4 a.m. too often lately. But today we're going on a fishing trip about an hour and a half off the coast with a local guide. We are very excited because it's Mahi Mahi season and if we catch one, we're able to come back and they'll barbecue it for us. So that's extra special. It's pitch black out right now. It's thundering. <laughs> There's our boat. Hello. Wayan. Wayan. Nice Ian. Yeah. There we go. Oh All aboard. Hannah. What the fuck? I'm like mad at you. That's our captain today. Wayan. Hi. The best captain ever. Good. <laughs> we are currently going out to sea at 4.30 a.m. This is wild. It's just Anna and I in the small boat. Let's go. Pretty rough ride. We got soaked. Wyant's getting us there safe. Right now he's trolling for mackerel. Basically has a line in the back of the boat. It's a very long line following the boat and hopefully we get some mackerel so we can catch some bigger fish like mahi mahi. There's some water down there. Here's Anna. She's totally soaked. You got some? <laughs> Reel it in. Reel it in. You gotta work it hard enough. You gotta work for your food. It feels so bad, it's fighting for its life. Get it! Get it! Skeet it! Holy shit, it's huge! It's a big fish! Oh, it feels so bad! Boy. Just don't look at it, Anna. Ooh! We caught one! Is that Mahi Mahi? That's small Mahi Mahi we got. We caught that fish in the first one minute the line went in. That means there's a lot of Mahi Mahi to go around. Let's go! I feel bad for it. caught our first mahi mahi of the day we drove farther in the ocean about 20 more minutes and i guess this is where wyan says there's bigger mahi mahi anna doesn't want to catch it and kill it she feels bad i don't know why i feel really bad catching like these fish because they're so beautiful and when we snorkel and dive a lot over here in southeast asia when i see these beautiful fish and i tell them i'm like don't worry i won't hurt you we're friends and now i'm out here fishing for them i feel bad another thing is definitely like an immersive experience. It's not luxurious. Like my dad says, the best part about fishing is the drinking. That's not the case here. We are here to survive. There's Mount Agung over there. It's so beautiful. It's like a silhouette. While we're waiting here, I want to tell you guys something. When it was pitch black out and we were driving the boat an hour and a half, during that time, if you look down at the ocean, you would see bioluminescent plankton lighting up the ocean right when we hit every wave. What happened here? He got his bait. Oh gosh. Smart Something tore it in half. No, see those fish, those fish don't bother me. But they're small and they're like silver. I don't know why. It's quiet. Too quiet. Let's just say I think I'm the extra Oh Anna got something. Here we go. Anna you better hold on tight. Oh this one's strong. <laughs> hold on Anna. It's left handed do it. Look how strong this fish is. Damn it. Watch out, Anna. Watch, it. Watch him. Oh, he's got two. We got two on the line. Let's we get it. Need help. Anna, you got this. This is seriously amazing. We're out in the middle of the ocean. We got two fish on the line. Anna's killing it. We're with Wyon, the firstborn. We love them. I'm if you remember earlier, she was yelling, Ian, go. Why are you taking so long? It was It so took close. the bait. Oh my gosh. No. Both of them lost their fish. Let's just be happy we have one from Ian. Someone's eating tonight. I wasn't catching anything, so I handed <laughs> the rod over to Ian, and he literally caught something in five seconds. I can't believe it. Literally, right when Anna handed me the rod, I did a Ew. couple movements, and three seconds later, we got a fish on the line, baby. I'm catching dinner for the whole fam. Oh, gosh. Wyan's got a big one. Get it, Wyan. Oh, it's flying. Who's going to win? <sighs> I didn't think I was gonna be this good. That's the third fish I just got. Anna hooked it and brought it in. We're a good team out here. 
There's my ants catch. Wow. That thing's probably the biggest. Oh my gosh. Huge. Wow. Our least favorite part. All the blood down here. It's like blood water. It grosses us out. We feel bad. I have to be the best shipmate in the world. Hey, this is my job. We just got back to shore. There's the two fish we're gonna keep for dinner. I think we're only gonna have like half of one, not even. And now we're gonna go back to our Airbnb and maybe sleep. It's only 10.30 a.m. If you're a girl going on the boat, my advice is that it's just kind of like a manly activity. I didn't catch anything because the fish were too strong. Um, If you're a girl, I would never suggest this for a girl to do, I guess, just because I didn't really love it. But it was a cool experience and I got experience it with Ian and I'll never forget it and we'll always laugh about it. Now he's gonna actually fillet it outside, right? Right now and then tonight he's gonna cook it up for dinner he's gonna do a soup and then he's also gonna do a barbecue on the grill it looks like like chicken wow it's no bone inside there's no bone no bone Wow, that looks good. 2,000 years later. We're gonna go to the underwater temple now. We're gonna see how this feels in the ocean. It'll feel fine. He's being a baby. It's about 2.30 right now. We just got up from a nap because we had early morning fishing. Had to catch us dinner, really. Caught four mahi-mahi, no big deal. As you can see, there's a ton of people here, but hey, we swim deeper, faster, longer. Whoop, whoop. So we've mentioned this before, but Ian and I bring our own snorkel and fins everywhere. And that way, we don't have to pay every time we want a snorkel, which is a lot. The company we went with is Cressy, and we have travel sized fins, so they're really, really perfect. If any of you are interested in backpacking, we highly suggest this brand and the pair that we got. And they're white, like they're so pretty. Well, that underwater temple was crazy cool. Cuts didn't hurt too bad, stung a little bit, but now we're back here at our Airbnb and we're making our mahi-mahi we caught earlier today. With barbecue sauce. This is the marinade they're putting on it. It's garlic, turmeric, salt and pepper, and then coconut oil. It smells so good. This cooks for about 10 to 15 minutes and his wife is actually making gado gado too with the fish. It's like, um, a famous Indonesian dish. It's with peanut sauce. Thank you. Gosh. Wow. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Oh, Kadek. Kadek. Nice to meet I'm you. Nice Kadek. to meet you. I am uh, Katut. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what do we got here? We got wow. the mahi mahi. Yeah, sambal. Yeah, this sambal. Sambal, okay. Sambal tomat. Sambal tomat. Gotcha. Gado gado. This is actually Anna's first time trying yeah, mahi mahi. I've never had mahi mahi. <laughs> it's a big day. First bite. Ooh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. 